the amazing healing power of avoidance. No, embrace <laughs> courage. Now, the reason I'm actually talking about this is because there is a coping mechanism. There is a strategy that many of us use and I used for the longest time. And that is avoidance. So if you right now feel like, oh, I want to stop this video, pause it, scroll on, click away, it might be your avoidant coping mechanism kicking in as a self-defense. Think about that. Okay, it's, it's really about bringing awareness to all the different strategies that are toxic, that are unhealthy, the ways that we sabotage ourselves and bringing this awareness and bringing this light to them and seeing, oh, where's that coming from? And then seeing, checking out, is that true or not? And 99% of the time, it's not true. Well, 99.9% .9 of the time, that idea, that belief that's causing us to do the avoidant behavior isn't actually true when we when it's, we put it in the scrutiny of the light of awareness and we find, we look, we really see, we have the courage and the bravery to really look and really get curious and see, is this true? Is this real actually, is this real? Feel it, know it, perceive it. And 99.99999% actually, of the time, it's not true. And that can be a massive liberation, that can be a massive eureka moment, epiphany, aha moment, which is what a lot of my clients get um, on the daily when we're doing our sessions, because we're really, really going deep. Anyway, hi, welcome to my channel. If you have been here before, my name's Jody Dean, and I help you navigate your spiritual awakening process, embody your soul purpose, and show up in your full authenticity with your radical, full self-expression. So, back to the content of this video, the theme, which is about this magic habit of embracing rather than avoiding. And um, let's go, let's get deep into it now. So, the reason why we have coping strategies and coping mechanisms, which are default, default ways of behaving, de default habits, default ways of being, is because that was the thing that helped us survive at the time in our infancy, in our childhood, in the early years, right? And it also may be something that we picked up as a way of dealing with pain from our ancestors, our parents, our primary caregivers, our teachers, our siblings, and anyone else who was around, but particularly from mother and father, mummy and daddy, that imprint, okay, that primary imprint can be something that we just model. So in between modeling what our parents' coping strategies are and were, and finding our own way of dealing with pain and unexpected things and um, disappointments and simply not getting what we want as children and wanted, then there's going to be one default way. And what I found through looking and searching and discovery was that avoidance was my way. And um, it took me years and years, decades and decades and decades to even admit it to myself. Um, and then I got feedback one day and it's like, oh my goodness, maybe I am an avoidant. And <laughs> it's even edgy to even talk about it because it's like really actually confronting it right here and right now. And I'm like, wow. Oh my goodness, okay. So what is yours? Yours might be something else. It might be aggression. Um, it, you know, it's, it's usually like one extreme or the other. It's like run away or it's like fight, right? Um, and also I learned this in psychotherapy school that there was kind of like three or four main strategies. Um, and these two being the default ones that most go to either like attack, <laughs> Uh, or run, right? Um, so, you know, what's yours? Do you have one? Are you aware of it? I mean, I know this is an uncomfortable conversation, but you've got to have these uncomfortable conversations if you want to live in reality and if you want to up level and let go of all that does not serve you, all those coping strategies that are 
the 95% that's running your life the, of the unconscious. And we want to bring that to light. So that's what we're doing here. So again, if you want to run away right now, it's probably that you are an avoidant. That's your coping mechanism. And so it's great to look at your whole life and go, okay, so how is this operating in my life? You know, do I not talk about things? Um, you know, is that a thing? So that is that, that's avoidance, right? Um, do I avoid people? Um, do I, right? <laughs> do I stay at home? Um, do, um, do I look for safety all the time? And, you know, look for comfort. So these are things that you can look at and you can have a, you know, a feel into for yourself and see what's going on. You might want to take a piece of paper right now and just take some notes and go, yeah, actually, what's going on? Because once you can kind of get some space in between you and it, it ceases to be this big thing that's controlling you when you have your awareness. And you're like, ah, actually, no, I'm the one who makes choices. I actually want to, no, I want to do things differently. I choose love. I choose trust. I choose creation. Uh, I choose embrace. And so this is courage, right? Courage. This is where we're at here. So this is what it's all about. Courage and being direct and embrace. So hope that was helpful. Put a, you know, something in the comments if you found, you know, some reflection or anything come up for you. And if you'd like some deeper help to get serious, then use the link in the description to book a call with me. All right. To activate your greatness. <laughs>